Welcome back to the weekend edition, everybody. This is uh, my podcast. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I had no idea. And I'm joined today, highly requested. Hey, Noel Miller. Hey, dude, can you put in like an audience? Like, a <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Damn it. I'm not going to do that. I put it, I put in as little effort into this as I possibly can. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, no, you know how long it takes to go through? No, I know. The problem with, so the problem with my recording thing is, um, I'm sure all of you guys know this, but I put these on YouTube and so I have to edit the video afterwards. Yeah. The problem is that this thing shorts out sometimes or something like the wires are yeah. hitting or some weird shit. So every once in a while, like every like 15 minutes, I'll get like a, like a like a you know what I mean? It'll short out and like some of the audio will be missing. Oh, so it's, it goes completely out of sync with the video. Oh, so I literally have to go through. It, it takes me it takes me like two hours to edit this because I have to go <laughs> through the whole thing and watch the whole thing. Well, wow. and normally I'll just record it and just like hope I didn't say anything <laughs> too offensive and then just upload it. But when I use this machine, I gotta fucking. So if any of you know this <laughs> solution to that problem, I'd love to know that. Yeah, throw that in the comments. Yeah, or, yeah. If any back. of you were like audio technicians or something yeah. and would know how to remedy that situation. I just, I need a producer for this fucking podcast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A free one, preferably a free one. Yeah. yeah. So, so also if you're, if you want to do that, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Anyways, back with Noel Miller here. Yeah. Uh, my friend, uh, producer, actor, writer, comedian, Noel Miller. Yes. Um, he was on the last or two weekend editions ago. Yes. We had great. Ago. It was a great episode. I'm was looking it at it right now. Was that right? 80,000 views on that's, YouTube. That's a, uh, that's flattering. I that's did fucking not think, crazy. Yeah, I didn't think eighty thousand people would give a shit about anything I had to say. So it's nice to nice to see that. Yeah, I mean, I think they're. I mean, they're watching for me. But oh, well, I'm kidding. All the comments are about how funny you are. <laughs> Definitely, oh, that's no good. That's what I'm saying. All the comments are, "Yo, get Noel back. Get Noel back." And now when I do the ones alone, like I'm starting to think these are way better. I mean, like okay. they obviously are, but like now when I do my ones alone, everyone's like, "You should like have guests on <laughs> <laughs> more often." Try to say it all nice. <laughs> Yeah, this was um, <laughs> this was a good try. Yeah, you know, I totally in support, but I, I, I mean, I see what you're going yeah, for. Yeah, it's cool, and support you fully, but absolutely, you know, maybe have no on it <laughs> every time. Maybe, maybe someone else, like well, forever. I, well, here's what I wanted to pitch to you. Okay, so we talked last time about like having a permanent podcast. Yeah, just the two of us. Yeah, and so, uh, and I was just thinking, so I know I can't, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to talk about Logan Paul again. But. 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 This idea just came to me. <laughs> okay. 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 So you know the podcast that I had with Sam and Devin. Where yeah. we watch every episode of The OC. Yes. And talk about it in depth for oh an hour. My. Are we just going to. Let's do a daily podcast. Where we cuck ourselves with. We watch every single one of Logan Paul's vlogs every day and talk about it for an hour <laughs> in depth oh as my. far as we can go. <laughs> We're, you know. Like, like, like I'm talking like. Like get used or like get to know the characters, yeah, their person. Like you yeah. really get to lo know Logan. Yeah. Like Lo become super fans. You know, what's, Mavericks. You know what's funny about this is we will inevitably become fans of him, and this only works for him. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like we will bridge the gap for people that hate him. Like yeah. it will start like as ironic. Like yeah. oh, <laughs> they watch the uh, okay two Maverick shirts. All right, green <laughs> and black. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you that's slowly good. Yeah, just become like actual <laughs> fanatics. It starts out totally ironic, and we're just like doing it for the laughs, and then eventually we're like we become serious mad. Dude, my friend, I I don't want to talk about it, but it's like you have to talk about it. I mean, it's getting crazier and crazier. My friend yesterday, he lives in New York City. He was eating lunch near like Logan Paul's meetup in New York City. There was a four mile long, or sorry, four oh. blocks. I was gonna say four miles. I don't think it was four miles, but it was four. It was huge. That's four blocks. Nice packed worth of people waiting to to meet him we, uh, the the last show we did uh the last stand-up show that we were both on when i was walking to the venue there i was walking behind a girl and she had a a jake pauler sweater and like you know i'm not gonna describe her i'm just gonna say she was a big girl and <laughs> you just uh, described her uh she's you know she's just big you said i'm not gonna describe her and then you described her right afterwards. i was gonna be mean about it you were mean no she, she was a a objectively a larger human <laughs> okay, okay. yes and we shouldn't i don't think we should have to tread around the she was fat uh yeah. we're not fat shaming by no. any means but you could describe her she was yeah. fat right yeah. there's nothing wrong with that yeah it's a bit, she's a big girl yeah like it but it wasn't not like i don't even want to say fat because fat to me is like obese or something okay like she just had like a large frame okay. like broad shoulders okay and I was just imagining like her turning around and just being like, 
you don't fucking, I know you, you don't like Jake Paul. <laughs> and just she fucking lands her massive bare fist and fucking drops me just like. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. Instantly. <laughs> you don't fucking like Jake. <laughs> Boom. Wait, I know you. <laughs> you you're the Cody Coke guy. You go with the Cody. <laughs> And I'm just laid out on the pavement. Everyone in the venue is like, oh, completely is, unconscious. Is Noel coming for his dad? He was, he's on in 20. <laughs> Noel, you're knocked out on Melrose yeah, Avenue just, by Jake Pollard. <laughs> just, just, I'm a maverick in your sleep. <laughs> Dude, one of the things we did, speaking of being knocked out, have you ever, have you ever tried smelling salts? No. You never tried those? You no. don't talk about ammonia? No. They use it to wake up knocked out boxers oh it's, it's what you smell it and it's like immediately it's it feels like you snorted wasabi or something holy shit it hits you right in the center and it just wakes you up like crazy and it's not like it, i don't know i don't think it's like a drug i mean maybe no. it probably is a drug i don't know but they use it it's just like a really really like your your nose is very very sensitive to this yeah and so it like makes you alert and these these we were like drinking with these girls in barcelona and they had this shit just like just like wake up what? Why? And so we were just doing it. It was like the crazy. So you're just like you feck. You fucking had like twenty shots. Your your body's like no more. And you're like, oh yeah. And you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> and you just you fucking hit system reset and you're ready to go again. <laughs> oh, all systems go. Your brain is like, no, no, fuck, <laughs> fuck. It's like go to bed, go to bed. I'm like, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep this party going. It's all just day. the most bizarre. It's the most bizarre thing in the entire world. Like I think, wait, does it smell like shit? My friend, it just smells. It's just, I can't even describe it. It's so powerful. It doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like pain. <laughs> <laughs> like you smell it and you get this crazy feeling like right in the middle of your brain. That's just like, ah, panic. And then you're up. Wow. And then it goes away. Wow. Very, very bizarre. The, well, the thing that's like funny to me about that, we, I thought it just smelled like shit. Yeah, what is that? Everything's beeping. There's a plane. Yeah. My, my dryer's <laughs> beeping. I need a studio. Yeah. And a producer. And if you have either of those, <laughs> please let me know. For free. For free. For free. Also for free. <laughs> I could pay you a modest amount. Modest amount. Yeah. And I it, could pay you in Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. I have like 10 of them. Why don't you go hit that dryer? You want me to hit Yeah, I'll, I think I'll, I'll stop. I think I'll stop. Think? Yeah, it usually beeps. Well, I think we're good. So the thing that I thought it actually smelled like shit and the thing that was funny to me is like that would explain why like MMA guys like after they get knocked out, if they're using that to wake them up yeah. and it just smelled like wasabi yeah. and their eyes are just like, what, what the fuck? Like, I don't, <laughs> I thought I was in a fight. It feels like I'm in a fucking sushi bar. What the fuck's going on? But it doesn't smell like anything. So that joke is null. Yeah. Anyway. That joke is Noel. That joke is Noel. <laughs> you no. see that joke is null? No. You just yeah. make like a programmer joke Programmer there? joke. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You made a programming <laughs> joke. Marcus was telling me you were asking uh, uh, programming questions to him the other day. You were like getting down and dirty with JavaScript or something. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yes. You still like trying to learn? No, fuck no. <laughs> no. And I can harp on this and it will, it doesn't, you don't have to know programming to appreciate this. All right. Okay. Um, so I, I'm trying to build the website for Westlawn. And I just want, needed something fast that would do a bunch of stuff for me. I didn't want to use like Squarespace or some dumb shit like that. Okay. So I'm like digging into frameworks. And th fucking programmers are just like, they are horse. They're full of shit. Like they How reinvent so? the same thing oh, yeah. over and over oh, yeah. to save their job. Yeah. It's like. That's how you just stay relevant in the work in the work field. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're doing it like that. Well, I've got this nifty thing. Yeah. Everyone learns it. And by the time they learn it, they're like, this is garbage. And then they're like, oh, well, yeah, it's garbage. But we have this new thing and it just keeps like resetting. Yeah. So I just about tore my hair out like from this. I'm okay. like, I'm not irrelevant. Okay. You fuckers just keep lying about your skills. Yeah. And like you keep, yeah, whatever. And there's like a handful of people that are actually doing good, like yes. real work. Yeah. I had, I used to work with a guy that was just, uh, um, not, he did, I, I feel like this is like too, um, <laughs> everyone, everyone right the, now is like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so like we, we're both programmers. <laughs> I used to work with a guy who like, didn't believe in like using libraries, yeah. which is like basic code that's already written and you can use these pieces of code in your project if you need that certain thing, right? People write code and they put it up for free and you can just use it. But this guy, he was like, he, he basically was like, I could always write a more stable version of whatever, whatever this is. Mm -hmm. And you should do this too, because he was my boss. Yeah. And so like, that's what I would have to do. Yes. Anytime I needed something like, like, I don't know, what's an easy way we can explain this to the audience. Like a, like a camera function or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, 
I would have to write it from scratch because he was like, no, like yep. you, you should you should be able to write a more stable version. So right. It's just like exactly just reinventing the wheel over yeah. and over again. It's so fucking annoying. And then you're like, then I'm like in these forums with these fucking nerds and they're like using so much language. Like it's like the, it's like, it's like a car salesman. Like they're saying so much and I just want to strangle them. I'm like, you don't actually know what you're talking about. You've just like pulled things out of your ass <laughs> to make this problem seem very hard. It's, this can be explained in one line, yeah. you know? So yeah, I was just fucking going off to Marcus. Like I hate being a programmer. That's, that's, I think the bullet on this. Yeah. That's yeah. never be a programmer. Never that's be a programmer. That's the lesson here. You know, what's funny actually is I get a lot of DMs about that. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sure just you do. about, I'm just about, I yep. was just about to tell you this too. Yes. What, what are the DMs that you get? People being like, Hey, hey I'm an aspiring pro. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and I'm, I'm like, I, every time I want to say get out. Yeah. No, I, 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 I like, I respond to those. Yeah. Cause when I get a DM that's like, you're fucking like so funny. Like appreciate that. But when I see a guy who's like, dude, I'm thinking about making a life choice. And I'm like, oh, I can help you. you <laughs> so I always respond to those. I'm like, hey, you're going to be spending a lot of time outside of work. You know what I mean? Like you'll write. That's the thing about code. That is fucking annoying. People, the fucking apps you use, the guys who make that, they work on that for eight hours and they go home and then they just work <laughs> on the other working. code for another eight hours. Yeah. And it's just this constant like 60 hour thing. And they're like, well, you, you got to stay with the industry. Yeah. So it's true. It's it's. And every time I get one of those DMS, I people go like, I'm a, you know, <laughs> I uh, look up to you and, and I'm an aspiring programmer. Like, and they're saying that I think with the hopes that I reply and go, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. But every time in my head, I'm like, but the thing is, I'm like, get out while you yeah. can. But the thing is, is that it is a great career. Like it's oh, it a is. great like yeah. thing to know how to do. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I am where I am now because of that. Yeah, because of my programming. And it's yes. a great like backup career. And if this doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's just like I just think of the countless hours and like, yeah. could you imagine just starting right now? Oh, dude, dude. It's like me learning how to fucking do music or whatever. I'm just like, I feel like I'm a monkey. Just yeah. like, or, yep. you know, like, I feel like I'm a baby just like yep. with a attic. Uh, Fucking yep. thing. And, well, and, and like <laughs> programming is so supported by like this top 1% of guys who actually know how it works. Yeah. Okay. That you're right. The yeah. Deeper, yeah. Why don't you yeah. go hit that? I'll, um, you want to keep them this is just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. yeah show up here for a podcast. <laughs> show up here for a podcast and it's in a house. <laughs> you know, when you think podcast, you think studio quality. I just go into some guy's garage. I mean, this is not what was advertised. <laughs> I don't know if there's a Yelp for this thing, but it's getting one star from me, you know, and I'm going to call my cousins. I'm telling them not to come here. You got to make up a phrase. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know who's going to do the what in this situation. <laughs> you already made that one up. I mean, I, <laughs> that's, that's my one white guy thing. I got to stick to it. Who's going to do the what? Who's going to do what here? <laughs> I want to speak to your manager's manager. <laughs> oh, speaking of that phrase. So I was supposed to post a video on Friday. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? I'm, I'm meaning to ask you. Everyone's wondering, where are your fucking videos, dog? <laughs> well, so I'll dive into that. So <laughs> Wait, this is um, something we do every time. Yeah. People, I get like uh, other DMs I've received and other comments <laughs> I've received about the last episode that we did together. Or people going like, I hate how many times you said you were going to get back to something and never did. <laughs> and now I just never know what i'm just perpetually gonna say i'm gonna post a video and then just never do it and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. post one in like five years and it'll get like a hundred million views I'll be like he <laughs> finally fucking did it <laughs> where are your fucking videos okay um all right well, what are you doing oh well, i mean you know what i'm doing but um hey, so, well they don't yeah okay so um i'm trying to for the people uh, i'm trying to start a production company actually i'm not trying um it's damn near done okay and uh I've been working on it, developing this short film. It, what's funny about this short film, and if you guys check my channel in a few days, I actually promise there will be a video there. But I like, you know how like you get a dumb idea? Like this idea started with me, Kale, and Taylor as just like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have like a girl with like a sword? Mm -hmm. That's what started. And then yeah. it like just unraveled. Okay. And then like the bad thing about me is I always immediately start going like, well, how can we do this? And I start like executing on this and like in my, in the back of my head, I'm like, Oh dude, it's just like a long video. A movie is just a long video. And I mean, it is, it is. <laughs> but like when we start getting like the weeds of it and like real production, like casting talent, syncing up all these people, getting locations. And then like literally like this past one and a half months has just been like a blur. Like I'm like, Oh fuck. I actually haven't posted a video in a long time just because it's been that time consuming to think about, 
all these different things. Like there were like two weeks where we were just going around like researching like practical effects. And like, like that's an element of the film is like doing shit by hand. Okay. So what is the film about? Um, so it's called, we finally settled on a title. Yeah. We're just going to call it Suki. Okay. And it's, uh, it's basically, it's going to be like a dark comedy, but it's about this serial killer girl. Um, and sure, she has a, has a, <laughs> it sounds so bad, but her thing, like her, her victim is like overweight, like suburban white guys. Okay. Like, it's not like supposed to be a race thing, but like the, we're trying to like draw comedy in like the, the offset, like how small she is and okay. how big they are okay. and how <laughs> she like the, what we've written for her to do with these, like, <laughs> dude, I don't even want to spoil it. Okay. Cause it's only going to be like six, seven minutes. But it's gonna be. I'm telling you, you will. Your sides will fucking split. Like, really? Yes. Like this is hands down one of the funniest things I've ever worked on, and I think I so, will ever work on. Is it written? Yeah, it's written. You already wrote the whole thing. Yeah, I wrote the whole thing. What? Yeah, in the last month. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like Jesus. We, yeah, we wrote it. We have the talent. Like, I'm, in, I'm in fucking Budapest getting drunk, <laughs> and you're writing. You're writing a film festival yeah. worthy film. <laughs> well, dude, I mean, we um. We're like the three of us are fucking hype because yeah. like, that's why I'm, I feel like I need to give context here for everyone listening. So I'm going to put out a GoFundMe and I'm so afraid to do this because I know what the movie looks like in my head, but it's so hard to communicate that to other people yeah. and then be like, you want to like invest in this. Yeah. And so I don't know. We'll see, dude. I'll, I, I'm either going to go broke to make it or <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a few bucks. Yeah. I'll slip you a few bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Fiverr. Oh, well, let's not get greedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's start with one. All right. Let's, see, let's start with one. Let's see where we go from there. Dude, every time someone donates $1 to my Patreon. <laughs> you're just like, yes. No, I'm like, I'm like, it's, it's like bittersweet, you know? Yeah. I'm mean, like, I'm not, I'm not like hating on the people that donate to the Patreon because I like, I think it's like 101 people now or something like 127 or something. Mm -hmm. Very appreciative of that. Yeah. But it's like, come on, $1. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck am I going to do with one dollar? <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't move the needle, but <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course. No, that sounds awesome. Yeah. It sounds like this. Is this shit still beeping? It is. Oh, this has happened now in, in multiple episodes of my podcast. It's just a um, thing now. Uh, no, it sounds fucking sick. Yeah. I can't believe you already written. Yeah. It's, it's already written. It's written. So, I mean, it'll. Um, and so if you raise the money, when, when's the GoFundMe going to go live? So we're aiming for either uh, Tuesday or Thursday. Okay. Um, and it's uh, oh this week yeah this week oh yeah. that's the vi that, that's yeah. what the video is okay yeah. so like i've seen the trailer video it's i mean the initial mm -hmm. the initial take it's fucking yeah. sick yeah thanks dude. where did you shoot that in kale's apartment oh really yeah that is was that how like, you got like the kitchen to yeah. the living room it, it's, shot? Cra it, it's crazy as it looks like a sound stage yeah like, it does yeah yeah and we're we're geeking off that yeah um yeah i mean you, i'm pumped for them to see it yeah the uh and the girl we got yeah. i mean <laughs> she looks fucking scary really yeah how'd you find her uh, so actually here's a funny thing. So, um, we were, so we wanted a Japanese lead. Okay. And that's been like a big like thing for me, like yeah. for the title, I don't know what to do. Cause the girl we got is Chinese <laughs> <laughs> and it's like automatically. <laughs> Why did you, did you know? So, we did. Okay. And so we've had like a major conflict about this, like, uh, you know, Kale is, is kind of in the camp of like, dude, it's like a character. It's not like, you know, whatever. And I'm thinking about like the fucking, you know, SJW. Like, I'm just expecting an email from the American Talent Association. Be like, <laughs> this is disgusting. You continue to paint, da, da, da. But here's what's crazy. So we put out an ad on um, Backstage. Yeah. And back pages? No, no. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Is, is, there, an is there a website called Backstages? Yeah, backstage. backstage that's is for, way too close. It's, to it's, it's, it's very close. For that's it's, way too it's close. So uh, yeah, I yeah. always I you could to, fuck up and get a hooker instead, I always of, a, <laughs> instead of an actress. <laughs> but oh, we got a, we got a lot of. I mean, <laughs> but so here's what's funny is we make a posting for the film, and we say lead Japanese role, dark comedy, you know, slasher, whatever. Oh, and she responded to it. Yeah, she did. Okay. She was like, I just hope these dudes are racist enough to, <laughs> to, to, <laughs> no, to cast no. me for this. I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that in a second. But here's what, what's even funnier than that is, first of all, we've got a shitload of applicants. Okay. Like 1% of them actually even Asian. Like we got like Latin American, white, like these were, I, 
it, it was. How are you going to respond to a casting call? <laughs> it, it says. When you're not even the same <laughs> it says race. Japanese lead. And it was like, uh, like 200 female actresses were like, I don't give a fuck. I can tape my eyes back. Like, I think that's what was in their eyes. Like, we would just tape their eyes back and paint it over and be like, yeah, you're Japanese now. Jesus Christ. So then of the small percentage that we got that were actually Japanese or, or <laughs> Asian, not sorry, only like one or two were Japanese. And they were like half, like they okay. weren't. So I hit a full screen. There's no Japanese talent on even on the roster. Like what? Like, like a 100% Japanese lead. And then- I, that casting director that hit me up, I hit her up. I'm like, I need a Japanese lead. Do you know anyone? And even she was like, I don't have anyone. I don't know anyone that's 100% Japanese in LA. And she's been fucking making movies for like a long time. Yeah. Like at least three, four years. Yeah. Actually, I think she told me like 10 years. Yeah. So I like, I tapped everything to find a Japanese lead. Wow. And I you couldn't find, find a single one in LA. Yeah. Holy shit. So if you're, so maybe if you're Japanese <laughs> and you're an aspiring actor actress. or an actress, then, then you have a high, pretty high chance of making it, P- I think. Potentially. Potentially. I don't know. Cause the girl we got her name, Cece, uh, she's really good at producing like the looks like oh, really? looking like innocent, but then looking fucking frightening. And she rides that line very well. So you found someone good yeah. though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So man, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's really crazy. Yeah. Not a single one. And we posted that ad for the, for these last two months for the duration of the pre-production and like us forming the LLC and all that shit. We've had that ad up and not a single 100% authentic Japanese person. And we put, we reposted it two more times, rephrasing it. Like we tried everything. Like what are some famous Japanese? That's what I started looking up and I, couldn't think of any, and I is, like. Is, uh, is it Lucy Liu? Is that is she Japanese? Chinese. Fuck, <laughs> you motherfucker! God damn it! Liu is not a Japanese last name. Okay. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ignorant. I'm ignorant. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I'm learning. I'm learning. This is help. This helps me. It helps me talk this shit out. You know what's funny? Is it's only because. You're a blonde-haired white guy on the internet. You have to say sorry. If you're just like a Mexican dude, it would be like, ah, oh, it's fine. He wouldn't. He doesn't know. If I said the shit that you just said about the taping the eyes back, yeah, no, you yeah, I would be. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! The white guy wants to tape <laughs> eyes back. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what, if you raise the money and you're, it's gonna go live. What's the timeline? Like, you, are you trying to raise? How much are you trying to raise? Also, ten grand. Ten G's. Yeah. And what's the timeline? Um, so probably from this week for about six weeks. Okay. Um, and then we're going to see what we can get and then just roll. And then you, you'll shoot it. And then, uh, once we'll, it's done, you'll like submit it to film festivals and shit. I think we're going to go live with it. Okay. And then submit Put it later. on the Vimeo or yeah, YouTube or something. Yeah. Vimeo. And okay. like, cause we, if any, honestly, dude, like we, <clears throat> we actually just want to make it and share it with people. Yeah. More than like we want to win the, I mean, the awards would be great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But we more like want to show people like one, like anyone that supports it, we fucking want them to have their hands on that. Yeah. Like that's first and foremost. And then two, I honestly think like people will fucking like love it. Yeah. Like, and that's, that's really what's driving this. Yeah. It's like, we just want to put out a dark comedy. Cause I feel like comedy is like such a, I feel like, like Logan Paul and, and those guys, that's the view of comedy that like a lot of people see on the internet. Uh-huh. And so I, I kind of just want to present that other side. Like, no, nah, it comes in many forms. Yeah. And so, yeah. That's fucking sick, man. That sounds Thanks, like a really dude. cool project. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm like, th- that's the other you thing. Gonna, you gonna write me a role? Of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we could put you in the closet, just dead as shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll gain a bunch of weight and I can be like a suburban. <laughs> I mean, you've got enough weight. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you got a double chin. We can just push your... <laughs> Just push your head down. You'll be good. <laughs> if you're just listening to this, if you can see the look on Cody's face, it is pure hurt. Hurt. <laughs> it's pure just emotional pain, <laughs> dude. Fuck. I didn't. I mean, this is what happens. I invite people onto my podcast and I get fucking roasted, flamed, destroyed, flamed. It's all right, man. It's um. I mean, you just uh, you just spent how long were you gone? A month. Yeah, almost a month. Yeah. A month, almost dude. Almost a month. Three, three and a half weeks, I think. Yeah. I'm- dude, you were right, man. Barcelona? Holy <laughs> shit. 
dude. Oh my good lord. What a city, man. The women there, I could not believe it. Oh man. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, you, so it was horrible. You had a bad time. Really bad time. <laughs> yeah, piece of shit city, never going back. Yeah, anyone that goes there that that says that, yeah. just like fucks their brains out. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm or, not, or it's not even that. Yeah. It's just like it you go there and like there's a lot to explore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, between the city, the people, da 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 da. da. Yeah. When you're in a relationship, it's just not the same. Yeah. Like, you know, and and, and I feel like Bar- like like you said, Barcelona like fucks. I feel like everyone there wants to bang, yeah. male and female. Yeah, it's like Chicago. <laughs> Is that what Chicago's like? Chicago fucks. I don't <laughs> even get it. It's such a horny city. <laughs> it's crazy. I did a I did a video about horny holidays a long time ago. Yeah. If I were to do another one about horny cities, yeah, L.A. would not be on it no, at all. No, Chicago would be top of the fucking list. Yeah. Everyone there wants to fuck all the time. That's it's funny. like. It's like when you go, like, I feel like in a place like LA, you go out and you're like pulling teeth to like talk yes, to girls and yes. they're like, you know what I mean? Because a yeah. lot of them are very like uptight. And the guys too, like everyone. Everyone like uptight. Here. And I feel like that's just like dating life in LA. Everyone's yep. like, it takes a long time to prove. That's why people are like kind of superficial here. Like you got to get the car and whatever. All that Chicago, shit. it's like everyone's, everyone's working a pretty similar job. Like at least, you know, in the, I don't know, people who I know that graduated from universities and whatnot like everyone has like a pretty decent job and and the city is so fun but it's so like it, i don't know it's just like it doesn't have any of the superficialness and no. everyone wants to fuck everyone's <laughs> just like this is what life's about let's fuck let's fuck i i don't i've never been to chicago i want to go but it fucks it, yeah i mean not for that reason i mean, <laughs> I, mean <laughs> I just want to see it yeah but that's that's actually a funny ass concept of like horny like if there was like a census bureau of like the horniest cities, yeah, like fucking per capita, <laughs> there probably is. Yeah, there there should be. There should be some stats on like what city fucks the most. I mean, if there, I mean, you could probably look at birth rate, but I don't think that does it justice. We got to yeah. look at like, um, no, they definitely have stats on like on like sex rates. I'm pretty sure because I'm I think right now, uh, Devin told me this stat. Out of Japanese men right now, I think it's like. One in every seven, oh, this might be wrong. This might be totally wrong, but something like this. One in every seven men um, have had a sexual experience by the time they turn 30. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, so basically six out of every seven haven't by the time they right. turn 30 years old, yeah. which is fucking insane. Jap- like Japan has a huge problem with that. I mean, it doesn't fuck. No. Japan doesn't fuck. No. <laughs> and like, it, it's actually pretty, I mean, it's been talked about for a minute, but, and like, you've seen these headlines, like they're not going to have like, their population is going to start to decline yeah. in a certain year or whatever. But it like I was like looking up reasons why, and people were like, oh, the work life is too crazy. I'm like, how much are you working that you get home and you're like, nah, I don't want to fuck, man. <laughs> like it's just depleting your whole fucking body. You're like, nah, enjoy myself. Nah. I, I kind of get it. Yeah. I kind of get it. Yeah. I mean, like, I, like sometimes like, you know, when I would – Basically, when I used to like train for a marathon, sure, you know, you do like a super long run and you get home and you're just like, I would rather sleep than have sex right now. Okay, definitely, yeah, a hundred percent, yeah, a hundred fucking percent, yeah. But I, maybe that's just me. Some people are, some people aren't like that. Some people like just live. Their for libido is so high, they're just like, no, <laughs> Tr- sex trumps everything. <laughs> for me, it's not really like that. I'm just a madman, and I will do anything at any hour. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, not not like that. I mean, I mean, just like. <laughs> We like Kale was dying the on the first shoot for like our GoFundMe thing. Yeah, it was like two in the morning. Okay, and I'm like, no, 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 like, like, uh, like, get a new card. Like, let's go. Yeah, like, and uh, swap out. And everyone in the room, his roommate was passed out on the floor. Uh, our guy running audio was just like dying. And then everyone in the room is like, no more. Please, no more. And I'm like, no, one more take. We need to figure this out. So and you're a good producer. <laughs> thanks, dude. Yeah. I was like, have you watched that show, uh, The Defiant Ones? Probably not. No. Um, it's like about the music industry, Jimmy Iovine. Okay. And they start talking about Jimmy Iovine. And it's like, I'm not comparing myself to Jimmy Iovine, but they started like describing him as a music producer. And I felt sick because I'm like, I have some of these qualities. No, that's good. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but then like. But he's also a piece of shit. I'm exactly. Sure. Like, people so, hate him. Yeah. People have like worked for him. Well, the thing that they say about him is he's incredibly persistent. Okay. So like, uh, like I won't spoil too much of it, but 
there was some female artist that he was working with and he wanted her to listen to a song written by Tom Petty that okay. he wanted her to do. Okay. And she was like, for days, like the only thing he would tell me is, so did you listen to the tape? Did you listen to the tape? What do you think? Did you listen to the tape? What do you think? Yeah. And I'm like, I kind of do that. <laughs> I kind of fucking do that. It's just, I don't know. Anyway. No, you do. I don't think you do. Not like. I think you could be more of a hard ass, especially with, with Kale and Taylor. Whew. I think you could. At least when I'm around you guys. Yeah. But I mean, like, you guys are, like, good friends or whatever. Yeah, it's hard I'd to feel like yell at your If buddies. you had, like, random people, could you, like, bring the hammer down? and be Yes. Because like, I've worked with producers that are, like, fucking hard asses. Yeah. Like, and especially, like, even, like, uh, director's assistants and stuff like that that are, like, yeah. they won't take shit. Mm -hmm. They're, like, this is my job. I'm taking it very seriously. Like, we're moving on to the next fucking scene. Like, focus, stop <laughs> laughing. Like, I think... With this first short film, I think that side of me is going to come out. Yeah, because it's got to. I think. Yeah, it's oh yeah, and it's got a, it's, it'll have a lot riding on it. Yeah, and I'll be damned if I let some fucking rando like making weed jokes. Yeah. I'll be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, we have twelve hours, yeah. and I'm getting this movie. So you're funny, gonna, funny joke though. <laughs> but just shut the fuck up. Yeah, that was good. I'm, <laughs> matter of fact, I'm I'm gonna use that one. You know, <laughs> so uh, shut the fuck up. Thanks for the joke. <laughs> Get the fuck back to the truck. And get the fucking two twelve by twelves and get them out here. You have five minutes. <laughs> um, so wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Let's let's talk about let's talk about Barcelona. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I yes, want to yes, deviate yes, from yes. that. Wow, we actually came back to yeah, something. We, came, I'm, I'm we making, actually fucking came back. Producing, producing, You're producing. Right, producing right now. Let's get wait, that. Speak, speaking of producing, I want to uh, actually derail this. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That brings up a great, uh, interesting point. <laughs> So for Barcelona, yeah, so fucks. How long were you there? A week. So I was there for two or three days, and then uh, and uh, then flew to Ibiza, Ibiza for two days. Flew mm -hmm. back and was there for another three days. Got it. And then flew. So I think in total I was there for about six days. Um, what we did wrong, jet lag really fucks me up. Yeah, it really really affects me. Like it takes me a full week to get actual actually used to the. Because I think sleep in general, like I just, my body, I can't not sleep. Yeah. I'm not one of those people that like, you know, can sleep three hours and feel totally fine. Right. I fucking need eight hours. Otherwise I'm not like functioning correctly. Yeah. So jet lag fucks me up hardcore. So it literally, like for me, it's it's an hour. It takes a day to get one hour. to get. You got it. So every day I like am used to it by an hour longer. So it usually takes me about seven days to get used to like a European time difference. All right. First of all, I got to fucking roast you. This is the bullshit athletic gene that you have right here. What the fact that you have your jet lag broken down to a system, <laughs> like this has your dad written all over it. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've heard about. I've never heard anyone have a math for their jet That's lag. That's a thing. That's I, a thing. That's a common thing. Maybe for fucking white guys with athlete genes. I've, I'm no, I'm just, I'm not saying it's my statistic. I'm saying it's a statistic. Is it? Yeah. I think about like, it's a, it's a, it's a understanding that it's about an hour per or did, a day per hour. Where did you read this? Someone said it to me. I went, I went to Slovenia <laughs> yeah. like three years ago. And someone said that to me. And I was like, no, nah, it makes a lot of sense. It was, takes me about four or five days. I was just hoping it was going to be your dad. <laughs> like my dad told me that. See, bang. It was, it was my dad. I went to Slovenia with my dad. <laughs> I was joking. I'm kidding. For the people who know Colby, I was joking with Colby about this. That, okay. that you, it fucking annoys me when I'll be talking to you at midnight. Yeah. And you're like, dude, I'm out. Okay. I'm like, I'm kind of hammered. I'm pretty fucked up right now. And at 6 a.m., you'll respond to one of my jokes. You're like, dude, that's funny. I'm like, go to sleep, Cody. Be a person. What? How? I can't do that. I can't, what, what I can't knock out at no, 1. No, you, you, you text me <laughs> at 1 a.m. And you go, dude, I'm sorry. I'm super faded right now. I'm playing, I'm, playing, I'm playing whatever fucking video game. Do you have time to read this script? And I'm like, no, dude, I'm going to bed. And then you text me at 11. Like, sorry, bro, just got up. Yeah, I am the only person on Saturday night that's sending people scripts. Yo, dude, what are you doing right now? I'm getting fucking blasted. Cool. I have round yeah. four. Can you yeah, just exactly. read page three? I had fucking tagged up a few jokes. Dude, what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm just being social, having a social life. What are you doing? Well, I just polished up yeah, version four of this script. And if you wouldn't mind going through it, dude, I'm at a party, man. I'm not going to just open it. I'll send you the PDF. You can just open it up, go to the bathroom and just, just read it real quick. Cause we're about to roll on this thing. We're shooting it right now. We're shooting it right now. That's literally what you said to me the other day. I'm at the airport and he sends me a script. He's like, can you read this? And I was like, sure, I can do it in a second. I'm like going through customs at the airport. I'm like, and he's like, we're about to roll on this right now, which means he was 
about to shoot it. He had the actress there. Uh, uh, yeah. And he's sending me the script for final yeah. tags or something. Yeah, you got any got any last minute ideas? Yeah. Yeah. That's um I don't know. <laughs> it's no, that's just fun. By the way, I want to talk about the July 4th party. That's when you're talking to Colby, right? Yeah. Okay, but yeah. we can get back to that. Let's talk about Barcelona. <laughs> what were you saying about Barcelona? No, so did you what did, how did you like the food? Oh yeah, right. So so this is what this is what I was about to say. It takes me a while to get over jet lag. Mm-hmm. So we get there and uh, I think the first night, maybe, I think maybe the first night we tried to sleep Yeah. and like, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, whatever. The second night we went to opium, which is a nightclub there uh-huh. and it's open all night. Yeah. And so we were there all night. We watched the sun go up yep. and then we drank till 1 PM, <laughs> which you can imagine for a person who's like sleep sensitive, <laughs> trying to get used to like another time zone, you were- staying up and for like 36 hours or whatever the fuck that my body was like, what's going on? Yeah, and no wonder you needed the ammonia. That is, that <laughs> yeah, is that's why we need the smelling salt. It is nuts. It, we saw that we club, we saw that club and I looked at the pictures and I'm like, I won't be awake. Yeah. Like that club does not stop. Oh yeah. It's, <laughs> it was, I mean. Was there ever a point where it was thinning out or was no, it just like no. till six? Yeah. Everyone is everyone like, was there. Destroy myself. I mean, it got it got packed at like one a.m. That's crazy. Like that's when we were like going out. That's crazy. I just don't get how how people do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. I go to bed. Like last night, I went to bed at two, and and I was exhausted this morning. Yeah, yeah. People stay out all night. Does that just totally <laughs> fuck? Like, is there not a concept of a Sunday <laughs> in Spain? Think, I don't. Is think there so. just Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> Saturday just one big day. Hey, one big day. <laughs> You front load <laughs> and then you pay for it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's why, that's why everyone there doesn't want to deal with Americans because they're still hung over <laughs> from their fucking 48 hour Saturday on Tuesday. <laughs> they're like, listen, motherfucker, I don't, I can't do the English thing. You don't understand the pain. Yeah. Oh my God. Do people in Spain die faster? Cause like you can't They've just lived more years than we have. I think. No, also they sleep more. Cause that's why they take the siestas yeah. and shit. Yeah. That's really weird, isn't it? Like it doesn't happen in Barcelona though. Not a ton, no. Yeah. But there were some stores where like we wanted to go. Yeah. And it was like uh closed from four to four thirty. It's like that's exactly the time we need yeah. the dicks. And like most of the people like <laughs> just me- Americans basically. Yeah. Like my, my parents my parents hiked the uh, Camino, which is like this like thirty day hike in mm-hmm. Spain. So they were in like rural Spain. Yeah. Which is where it actually like everyone takes siesta for like two hours at like four PM. And wow. so, like, they'd start hiking in the morning, and they hike, like, 30 kilometers in a day or something, and yep. arrive at the town, like, right at 4 p.m. <laughs> so, like, exhausted, fucking completely depleted. They just need food, and everything is fucking closed. Because <laughs> oh people are sleeping. Oh, my God. Oh. Does your dad get mad at anything? No. Not really. Yeah, I can't. I mean, like, I don't know him. Yeah. But, like, from the one vlog. Yeah. It doesn't. He doesn't. He strikes me as not a guy who gets angry. Yeah. He's pretty. I mean, Yeah. I can't see him like the last time he got super angry, like getting there and just like that would be classic like moment for a white guy rage. Yeah. Like not understanding (laughs) of like that's something my dad would be like, who is going to do the what here? (laughs) Like what? Oh, Jesus. They don't need to put a sign up for this. This is (laughs) not that's not okay. What do they yeah. do? Such a white guy thing. <laughs> Saying that's not okay. Yeah, that's it's not their okay. whole, it's their culture. Like it's, their, it's built into their, this is their that's, whole society. That's not okay. That's just not accommodating just, at all. Just dismissing <laughs> a custom with just, that's not right. Nope. They should be putting a sign up for this shit. No, they shouldn't be. I'm going to jump one level and say that's Americans. Yeah, Americans. Yeah, yeah. it's not even a white guy thing. Americans, Americans anywhere else yeah. is all about customer service. I mean, yeah, I talked about this in my last podcast about how, like, I was complaining because everything in, in, in Spain is slow and there's lines for everything, and there's yeah. no signs, and you're, like, constantly whatever. But I, I realized it's, like, as an American, I just like being, like, babied through shit, yes. you know? Everything, yes. I love having my Google Maps. I love yeah. knowing exactly where I'm going. I love when I ask someone. Like, I talk, I said this joke last time. I was like, I won't stand up from a table. I, I'll stand up at, when I'm at a restaurant, I'll stand up from the table to go to the bathroom. But I won't move from the table until I have a waitress tell me which direction the <laughs> yeah, bathroom's in. Yeah. I'm not going to just wander around the restaurant like a scared baby, you know? Like a blind person, like in a kid, you know, trying to find um, the, where's, where's the, the <laughs> fridge? 
freaking out. Like, you know what I mean? The environment's just freaking me out. Europeans will just be like, like you walk up to a European and be like, hi, where's the, uh, you know, I'm supposed to meet someone near the this intersection, whatever. And they're like, why are you talking to me? Figure it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Walk fuck, around. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. Just figure it out. Like, and I feel like that's most of Europe. It's just figure yeah. it out. And people told me that was a really cringy thing to say. People were like, I'm European and I'm cringing right now hearing this. Yeah. Yeah, it's just my fucking perspective. You come to America, you have shitty surface insights too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? oh, I mean, America's shitty in so many ways. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Yeah, but Europeans, they don't, they don't like the stranger thing. Yeah, like it's, it's so, it's not their thing to just like, hey man, do you have the like, hey, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, like <laughs> I was talking to Alina's cousin, and <laughs> he was like, in Europe, you don't ask people how they're doing. Like, that's just not. Yeah. He's like, the first time I went to America, some guy at the grocery store asked me how I was doing. First thought I had was like, fuck off, man. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the funniest thing. Because, you know, we just have such a different, like, invade people's, yeah. you know, fuck, really kill them with kindness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really fucking no, attack kill them. them. Attack them <laughs> with your smile. Make them feel uncomfortable <laughs> yeah. with your kindness. Because you don't get that anywhere that, like, we went, hi, welcome to the, yeah. you're, this and the, blah, blah, blah. it's so much information. Yeah. Like, when you walk in a fucking, <laughs> when you walk in a, like, oh, what's this, what's the place that everyone goes, welcome to Firehouse or something when you get in there? It was yeah, like Firehouse or Firehouse something? Subs. Firehouse subs yep. or something? Yep. You walk in and they go, welcome to Firehouse, welcome to Firehouse. <laughs> Every single employee does that. It's like, dude, who... Who or, made that rule for or, you? Or Jersey Mike's when they get a tip. Yeah. yeah. And what do they do? They go, bing, tip. Everyone's like, yeah, whoa, oh, thank you. Oh. Or like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. When you say my pleasure after every time you say thank like, you. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. And it becomes like a like a thing. Like yeah. they try to say it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. Yeah. Faster. <laughs> oh, my, no, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. No, no, no. It's mine. <laughs> no, please, sir. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. My fucking pleasure. I always like it. I fucking hate when we go to Chick Fil A and you're always doing that to him. <laughs> yeah, it's so like, funny, dude. Like, Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next time you guys go to a Chick Fil A, they have the rule is for their employees they have to say my pleasure if you say thank you. They have to say <laughs> that's their only answer that they can say to thank you is my pleasure. It's a thing. It's a rule. So try it. Go to Chick Fil A next time. Go up to the thing and just say thank you as many times as you can. <laughs> Don't be weird about it. Don't go thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just be like. Just, you know what I mean? Like, if she asks you what, what kind of co- what drink you want, you'd be like, Diet Coke, thank you. Yeah, put a gentle. Just say it. Yeah, just put a gentle. Go, Do you want to supersize it? Uh, yes, thank you. Actually, you know, no, thank you. And they'll say it twice. <laughs> my, pleasure. my pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. It's <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. I think we did that in one of the vlogs, right? Yeah. We had like a my yeah, pleasure my counter. My pleasure counter. So, you, the food. Did you like the food? Dude, so, yeah. So, someone I was talking to yesterday uh, studied abroad in, in Barcelona. By the way, so many college people studying yeah. abroad in Barcelona. Yeah. It's like 80% of the people we met were like, yeah, we're studying abroad. <laughs> um, so, somebody I was talking to yesterday studied abroad in, in Spain, and he was like, how'd you like the food? And I was like, I thought it was amazing. And he was like, I didn't like it mm-hmm. at all. But that's because we which went, I found, the very first night I was there, I found this fucking tapas place. Okay. And it was just unfucking real. You walk in. Do you remember the name? Um, no. <laughs> Obviously, I don't remember the name. People, <laughs> listeners of my podcast, know that I just don't know the names yeah. of shit ever. Yeah, I want to make a shirt that says, "Uh, I forget the name of that place." <laughs> um, I be you know, you walk in and it's like the bar has like it's like the bar and then it has like an elevated like shelf on the bar. Wait a and second. And it's just plates and plates and plates of like finger food. Uh huh. And so you just take one. Each one is like a piece of bread with some sort of like cheese, meat, and like yep. sauce or whatever. Yep. And it has a toothpick through it. Okay. You take it and you just basically load up your plate with these things. You eat them and then they collect the uh, sticks and each stick has like a price indicator on it. And so it's like a all you can eat sushi place basically. It like Got works it. the same way. So you just walk in and you eat this, these just fucking hors d'oeuvres. Mm, okay. These wonderful hors d'oeuvres. I, I refuse love that to word. say that word. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Mm-mm. Love it. Mm-mm. So you just eat these wonderful hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> say it. Hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, it's amazing, right? It's I great. Guess, yeah. it, feel good. it feels good coming out. It rolls out. off a little bit. <laughs> So anyways, you eat these wonderful hors d'oeuvres, <laughs> hors d'oeuvres. And, at the end, and then you're stuffed and at the end they collect the things and it's like pretty reasonably priced. Okay. But it's All amazing. Right. And then the last time we went to this fish place called La Paradeta. Okay. Did you go there? No. Fucking unreal, dude. <laughs> unreal. I'm allergic to fucking seafood. Oh bro. yeah, right. <laughs> why the fuck would I go there? <laughs> well, no wonder you didn't like the food there. That's like yeah, one of the main things said, fish. That's what I said. I was uh, like, because I'm allergic, uh, I didn't, couldn't have as much fun. Who the fuck is allergic to seafood? Bro, everyone in my family looks at me that way. Because it's it's just me and my sister. 
Insane. <clears throat> Actually, no, not even my sister. It's just me. So you've never had like a shrimp taco? No. You're telling me you've never had calamari? No. You're telling me you've never had a, a, a sea bass? No. Really? I've just had You're like... You're telling me you've never had fish and chips? No. You're telling me you've never had a filet of fish from McDonald's? No, keep going. Really? Yep. Seriously? Never. You're telling me you've never <laughs> had a shrimp cocktail where you dip it in the cocktail sauce? Fuck Have no. you had cocktail sauce? No. Oh, my God. Dude, I do. When we did that fucking Clamato you video. You lived. Yeah. When we did that Clamato video, yeah. I just tasted that beer, and I felt that clam juice, and I fucking turned, I started turning red, if you remember, and I started getting, like, hot. Oh, my God. And I was God. like, I, I, no, you know what? It started happening, and then I was like, yo, does this have fucking, like, shit in it? Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. like, of course. It's clam juice. Delicious. Fuck. I'm gonna die. You never had an oyster? No. You never had a mussel? Nope. Jesus. No. Nope. Really? Yeah. You never had a thick ahi tuna steak, just cooked, perfect, seared. I'm just, just imagining seared. everyone listening to this right now, like, he hasn't had the fucking <laughs> seafood, Cody. Whatever you ask, yeah. he's going to say no. He's going to say no. He's going to fucking say no. <laughs> we just did that for the next hour. You've never had mahi-mahi. <laughs> You've never had macadamia, inc- macadamia encrusted mahi-mahi. No. Really? Yep. Really? Really. And you're telling me you've never had some sort of shrimp hors d'oeuvre? No. Never a shrimp hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. God. No, no, that's fine. That. Wait. Oh, is Marcus here? I saw. Marcus is here, yeah. Mar- Marcus. I think he's napping. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I don't know how he's napping over this. I get like, a, he's in his room like, yeah. why is this motherfucker listing every type of fish <laughs> ever? He's just half awake like, what the fuck is going on in there? <laughs> you know what I learned in Europe? Uh, the goddamn, um, <laughs> that shit started playing. Uh, how to actually do a British accent. Oh, yeah. Or like what drives a British accent. What is it? Pronunciation. They don't move their jaws. Okay. I didn't realize that or know that. Okay. You know, like so we. Do it. So I'm trying to think of like a word. You're doing me hidden. No, no, no. Like just even a word. Oh, like like level, right? Yeah. It's the way the way we say level. that. Level. Yeah. Like they we really lean the bit level. Like it'd be just quick. Okay. Or like the, the store Top Man. Uh-huh. I, I'd say I'm going to go to Top Man. I'm going to Topman. Topman. Yeah, Topman. Yeah. Because we could the top man. <laughs> and like Alina's, Alina's cousin said the funniest shit to me. She was like, you, you guys move your jaw so much. It, it's like a lot of work. Like it looks like it hurts. Like, doesn't it bother you? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's a great observation though. Yeah. It's, it's fucking, it's weird. Yeah. If you just don't move your jaw on any word, you automatically sound British. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Should use that. Thanks, bro. Yeah, use it on standup. It's yeah. funny. Um, I've been watching so much of this goddamn British reality show. <laughs> I can't fucking stop what's, watching what's it. it. I've called? never been addicted to a show like this ever in my entire life. And the worst part is, it's on every night <laughs> for an hour. What, what this morning, it? I wasted two hours watching. Ep- what older is it episodes. called? It's called Love Island. What is, what is that even about? So they put like they put <laughs> you like shook your head. They, you shook your head. No, I shook my head because I've described this on the podcast before. So everyone's <laughs> like, I know what it's about already. They take like five girls, five guys, all fucking smoking hot, right? Okay. They put them all in a house together, and they add like another guy. Mm-hmm. So it's like there's always like an offset, okay. right? And or there isn't, or it's even whatever. But basically, the idea is at the end of each week. Got it. That's it. That's the only thing. Oh, so, so it's just all, trying. it's just, it's just, it's like a normal reality show uh-huh. stripping away all the bullshit of yeah. like the games and like the whatever. Yeah. And it's just about sex and attraction and like being in a couple with a person. That's crazy. It's fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> and it's on every night. They, there's enough drug because these people are just in a house and they're not doing anything else. There's nothing else to do except smoke cigarettes and just create drama. Yeah. And like try to attract people. Yeah. So each day there's enough there's a there's a big enough like piece of drama or basically like enough like pieces of <laughs> of their where there they can have to be they can generate an hour long episode holy shit every day that's a out of what goes on in this house that's a gold mine and it's unreal it's like the the timeline is like because because all they have to do is sit around and talk or whatever the amount of shit that happens in a day in that house like you could be in love with someone and then break up with them in a day. It's like the it's like a month squeezed into a day because it's, it's all they have to do. It's psychologically so fucked. Oh, it's fucked. But man. I'm sure it's like you know. Okay, so to that point, I've uh, <laughs> so remember I watched the last season of The Bachelor, and you were like, I hate that you like that show. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching The Bachelorette. Okay, because the first because I I like I actually wanted to do a bit about this, but it seemed like such well trotted. But basically, there's never been a black bachelor. 
Okay. Or like Bachelorette. Really? Yeah. So this is the first, like, at least to my understanding. A Blatchler. No, it doesn't really uh, work. Yeah. No. <laughs> No, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Apologize now before they. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, so it's like it's the first Black Bachelorette, and I'm like, uh, I'm enjoying the dynamic of like this situation, but like I shouldn't say enjoying because it's also like it's kind of fucked. Okay, like what do you, mean? you can tell she feels a lot of pressure on like who she chooses. Okay, because of race. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and so like when she's like sending a guy home it really fucks her up because like half of her is like i really like this guy then she has this other voice that's like but if you if you keep him it's like this and that yeah and so like uh this actually when i started watching this season i'm like all right this show's fucked up yeah this shouldn't be a thing yeah but going back to the last season i didn't feel that way and I, I I wrote everyone off on that show as crazy, and I'm just harping on this because I feel like it's related to this Love Island thing. Yeah, I I I wrote people off on that show like these people are fucking nuts, and obviously some of them want to be on TV and all that and blah, yeah. blah, blah. But then like I took a step back, like watching The Bachelorette, and I'm like, no, these this requires a certain level of confidence. Like these people, if they show up to a club that you're in, just go home because yeah. they're gonna fuck oh, whoever yeah. you want. Yep. Because like I like conceptually. The, the Bachelor is the equivalent of, like, me, if, like, if, you know, I hit up a lean, I'm like, hey, I know you're talking to 15 other dudes. I want to put them and me in a house, yeah. and you're still going to want to fuck me. Yeah. And it's like, it's the craziest setup. Yeah. So I can't, like, the whole concept of, like, being in love while cameras are around, it, like, it. it I don't, I don't get it. it. It's so unnatural. And I would immediately be insecure. Yeah. And oh, like, these people don't give a fuck. That's the, that's the crazy part. They're is walking like, around naked all day in this house. <laughs> They don't care at all. It's that's the nutty part about I know. it. No, yeah, it's unreal. Yeah, and, and it's crazy. The people they pick, you just, you just, you like, you know. I mean, that's this is why reality shows. It just reminds me of why I fucking love reality shows. Mm-hmm. I used to love Big Brother, right? Yep. We talked about this before. But it's just like you, you get to know the. It's just reminding me why I, I used to like Big Brother so much. You get to know the characters, yep. each person. You get to know their personality, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you're like rooting for certain people yep. and whatever. And it's just like. It's sick, man. It's just, it's, it's like sick in a bad way, you know? Yeah. I'm so invested in this show right now and I'm just wasting my time. I should, I, I'm back from this trip. I should be fucking writing and, and yeah, working on content and I your... can't stop watching these people fuck. <laughs> I think that's the funniest part is you can write anything that's smart and cool and whatever, but at the end of the day, you just watching two people trying to fuck. <laughs> Like porn, reality TV, an HBO show, like that's the shit that gets you going. Oh yeah, You're like Pfft. yeah. So we going fuck. Well, or? that's it's amazing how it bridges the gap mm-hmm. in every single mm-hmm. like every demographic of yep. people loves watching those shows. Like <laughs> you know, my my friend who one of my one of my best friends, like degree, like really 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 super smart dude, degree in music. He's now an engineer. He started his own company. All this stuff, like super smart dude. Um, Loves watching that show. Like yeah. we talk about it yeah. because he loves watching it, and it's like you know what I mean. He 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 hates on me for I don't know like there's some of the types of music I listen to and stuff right. like that because it's like I feel like it's he's like a little bit I don't know he would never listen to this shit. Right. That I listen some of the shit that I listen to at least. Right. Or some of the shit that I watch or the people that I watch on YouTube or whatever. But for some reason, Love Island, we totally Bang. connect, and he's yep. like, hell yeah, this show rules. <laughs> Cam is my favorite. Like all these all these things. It's pretty funny. It appeals to the lowest common denominator, bro. Yeah. I mean, th- this is a sketch I'll never do, but that's why I so badly wanted to do that, like that baby mama bachelor. Yeah. But I want to see that for real. Yeah. And for those of you listening, the concept is it's a dude, like a bachelor, but it's all the contestants are single mothers and he's competing. Oh my God. And it's a competition for like the stepdad. Oh my Which God. is brutally fucked up, but also because I feel like bachelor, like specifically the bachelors, they have it they don't really have to try. Yeah. Like the, the, the season I watched this dude, Nick, like I told you, he just said the same thing over and over. He just had like a fucking three line script that he just said to all these girls. And like, they were like, Oh yeah. Okay. Tell it was amazing how much they trusted him. And I'm like, yeah. he's literally just, this is not difficult. He's then, cheating on every single one of you yeah, with every yeah. single other one of you. And you're all friends. Yeah. It's like fucking crazy. Yeah. And, and so I think the the females have it harder because the dudes are so like 
hey, bro, let me get in there. Yeah. And then, like, when dudes get emotional, they get, like, fucking violent. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. when a dude's emotionally doesn't know how to deal with it. <laughs> so, like, he get, she gets all these guys that are just insecure, but they're going nuts. And it's coming out as, like, He's like, man, yeah, I love this girl, yeah. man. <laughs> Fuck! And they just start slamming shit and start acting twelve. And she's like, "Holy fuck, uh, 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 producer, can you come over here? Like, it's fucking like, restrain him." It's like actually savage. Yeah, it's like literally savage. <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys are just turning into just <laughs> primates. Like, fuck! <laughs> fuck! Yo, I want to go. <laughs> this dude on this season, this is a skinny fucking piece of shit guy. He was fucking with a wrestler. Okay. Like he was like lying to the Bachelorette and da 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 da, and like. He, he was like feeding lies and like this dude was battling like just mountains of testosterone. He's he like, his world is fucking people up and yeah. he's like got all these cameras around. He's like, I'm not, I'm trying to look angry. I'm trying to fuck everything up in this fucking house right now. You know this is the guy on The Bachelor? On uh, The Bachelorette. The Bachelorette? Like he, yeah. Like he's a wrestler or whatever. Is that on right now? Yeah. He okay. had, he is, had, it, is The Bachelor and Bachelor just constantly on? Is it? I every, think it's just it's like, like once keeps, one season ends, it just the just next one just trading. starts. Yeah, yeah, they keep you going forever, dude. It's, it's fucking um, crazy, man. But yeah, and, and so I want to see a dude actually have to deal with like real conversations. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like not just be like, oh, not just surface level. Yeah, just dude, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I know you feel fucked up right now. Yeah, but don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> like, oh, thank you so much. Like, you make me feel so much better. And he's like, all right, actually, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> your time is up. Yeah. It's like cookie cutter, like yeah, and then he's just reading off a of fucking. He's, he's, he's got this bat written on his hand <laughs> yeah. and pen. And he's like, look, it's so smudged. So he's like, kind of trying to. Brittany, Yo. don't worry. I know that it seems, but I think we have a real con- connection. Connection. Fuck. No, I fucked that up. Hold on one second. <laughs> yeah. The kinetics one- connection. Sorry. <laughs> one season, this dude. He, I think he was actually like having sex with some of the contestants and a girl, like. He like to he put up like this image like he's like you know I don't fucking believe in like this and that okay like, <laughs> wait this is the bachelor the bachelor okay I know I keep fucking bouncing between yeah no but so he's like so he like puts on this facade that he's like this good guy and like he doesn't get physical then he like fucks two of the girls and then one of the girls he, they get like a one on one date and she's like so remember when you said like this like why were you fucking her and her and he's just like oh well uh. <laughs> and watching him like try to dig out of that hole and her face was fucking classic none of the bullshit was even getting in her head she's like uh-huh uh-huh okay got it really I think, I think she like left the show shortly after really yeah but it was good for her yeah. holy shit <laughs> the wrestler guy similar thing he ended up being the most mature okay because he had a daughter okay and that's what was fucking him up oh. being away from his kid oh okay so what was crazy, because I've never seen this on the show, Grant, I've only seen two seasons, but he goes up to The Bachelorette and he goes, you know, I don't feel like this started off the way I wanted it to. So uh, I need to know now if you think this is going anywhere, because I'm not going to tell my daughter that we have a thing just for you to leave. And she goes like, you know what? I, I don't think it's where it's going to be at. He's like, me neither. Cool. And then like he just left. Like, just left the show. Like, done. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why do you even go on the show then? Like, what What? I don't what know. do you really think the odds are that this is the girl for you, dog? I, looking at it's it. It's entertainment. Like, she's hot. She's you, she's charismatic. That's you, it. Like, you, you know what sucks, dude, is... You, you go on the show to find a mom for your kid? Like, you think you're going to find that on The Fucking Bachelor in front of all of America? Like, come I, on. I, not even standing up for it, but, like, looking at him from the start of the show, like... There was a legit passion there. Really? Yeah. Like he was like, yo, this girl, like, I see it. Huh. I 100% see it. And I think you kind of have to see that. Like yeah. if you're going to go on that show. Yeah. But. I mean, maybe it's just, it's just they pick the type of people they choose. Or uh-huh. the type of people that are very easy to like yeah. fall in love with on the surface. Yep. You know? Cause, uh, that's probably the, what it is, right? Yeah. Because that's, you know. And uh, same thing for that show. You get these hot ass people that want to be, like, want to be in love. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that I was going to say about this show that I love so much about Love Island is because there's just nothing to do. They do. They just create these like deep conversations about relationships and about all these just things. Right. Nothing. But, well, because they have to. They have yes. nothing else to do. Yes. So they're, they're like literally the most confrontational people ever <laughs> because they have nothing else to do. Yeah. They'll walk around the house and be like, can I have a chat for a second? Sure. Be like, what do you think about this girl? What's your relationship with her? Whatever. Oh, my God. It's nuts, dude. 
<laughs> and so like in the bachelor where you just kind of have these and like the bachelor is sort of the same thing i guess i don't know i've really it, it watched does, it nowhere near. but i feel like i feel like it's a lot of like just smoke and mirrors it's like yeah. a lot of bullshit like yeah. they just like it's like a guy telling a girl what she wants to hear and whatever and it's like very editing. surface level shit yep. right in love island like people actually like you like learn <laughs> like it's crazy <laughs> Like nobody's afraid to talk behind people's backs and then be like, by the way, that person was talking behind your back. And then they come up to the person oh, that's and be like, rich. Hey, you were talking behind my back. And the person's like, I was, and I knew you were going to find out. And this is wow. somebody's like revving a fucking, yeah. <laughs> it's a lawnmower on, in the alley for no reason. It's crazy. Anyways, I profess my love for this show now for like three episodes of the fucking podcast. I'll, I'll watch it. Maybe, maybe dude. Maybe we just like. I know what you're about a, to say. We start a podcast. Yup. Yup. We, we watch Love Island and Logan Paul vlogs. Yes, yes. And break down like character psychology. Like we take it <laughs> past the content and we talk about people. Because there's something I actually want to talk about with Jake Paul's fucking vlog. Yeah. The fact that he has those two Latin twins. Yeah. Is the fucking clearest example of like racial side fucking showpiece. Yeah. It like, it doesn't bother me so much as like, I want to know his real thinking. Like yeah. when he saw them, he was like, oh, oh perfect. Spanish speakers. Yeah. <laughs> this can work, fellas. This can work. And there's no one in the room. He's just talking to his fucking <laughs> multiple personalities. He's talking to like these mirrors. I think Jake Paul's going to kill someone. Yeah, yeah. Logan is the the one who's like grounded. Jake Paul's going to be the one. We're going to see it in 10 years. Like fucking former vlogger and actor, Disney, uh, a former Disney Channel actor kills some like fucking kills Bodega of yeah. fucking fans. Yeah, you know, kills a Bodega of like fans? just drives a truck into some fans and like gets out. <laughs> Jesus and this Christ, this is dark, but it's fucking dark as shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I just yeah. Whatever, ha what happened to just to completely change the subject? What happened to the <laughs> sketch that I was in that you filmed that we oh. talked about last time that never came out? What the fuck happened to that shit? I might. Want to reshoot that, dude? No, oh, come on. Yeah, I know. I, Why I, was it me? No, actually, it was it was me. I did not pick. Uh, I I cut it and then I sent it to some friends and they were like, "Yo, you missed opportunities here and here." Uh, okay. And I'm like, "Oh, hey, you didn't send me the cut because uh, I was I was embarrassed to show it to anyone." Involved. No, yeah, really. Yeah, okay, I, I wasn't feeling it. Okay, so um, well, fair enough. Yeah, I'll be in it if you want to reshoot it. We tried to come back to Barcelona. Many times, and no, we did. We <laughs> no, came we, back. Yeah, we, we came we, back. I think we, we touched discussed Barcelona pretty thoroughly. Yeah, yeah. The right. main thing you wanted to ask was the food thing. The food thing. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where else did you go on your trip again? You were in I Iceland. Oh right, Barcelona, Iceland. Everyone thought we were in Iceland at the same time. Yeah, right, 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 right. So like, <laughs> I just have to address it. Someone called you a snake on one of my posts. They're like, yeah, no, you said this yeah. last time. Oh, did I? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. I, I can't even remember anymore. This is what happens to me. Yep. I end up saying the same stories and the same shit over and over again. Yeah. We're just figuring it out, you know? Yeah. You know? <laughs> you guys. Just, we're deleting brain cells and sharing this experience <laughs> with you. One at a time. Um, no, but one thing we did say we were going to come back to was the July 4th party. I want to oh, know how yeah. that was because I was I was abroad. <laughs> you never fucking come out with us, ever. You never come out with us because you don't like to party or drink or have fun. I don't or like do that fun. Social. <laughs> So when I when I learned you were at Gideon's house for July Fourth, I pissed? was like, I was like, bitch, what the fuck are you what doing the there? What? <laughs> a little sensitive. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? I was like, everyone's hanging out. Everyone's hanging out. Everyone. That's the day that everyone decides to everyone decides to go and hang out. The day that I'm fucking gone, huh? Oh man, that was so good. First of all, um, they had a fucking had a few laughs. Okay, Colby and I were talking about uh, your fucking wake up thing. And then Colby was we'll like, wake up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your sleep schedule. And yeah. Colby's like, well, not all of us have a fucking goddamn Spartan dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, fuck this fool. Fucking world, Spartan dad. world record setting genes. <laughs> Wants to fucking cr it. criticize the sleep schedule. You fucking get the fuck out not of here. Not all of us have a Spartan dad. Yeah. You bastard athlete. <laughs> But you know it's actually a cop out. My fucking my grandfather used to get up and swim like twelve miles a day. Really? For like forty years. So really? I literally have no excuse. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's, there you go. it's innate. It's there. And your grandfather <laughs> is what race? Uh, <laughs> still not disclosing, huh? No, I mean we can talk about it. No. No, leave it. That's the joke. It has yeah. to remain yeah. ambiguous. <laughs> He's one hundred percent himself. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, I had I had this friend her dad would get up every single day he would run eight miles oh no no longer than that <laughs> i think honestly like a, a 10 miles or like a half marathon Jesus every day 
every single day, every day. Just and it's like how, at that point, it's like, dude, you're just like you, I feel like you're withering your yeah, yeah. You got to be f- falling apart. Yeah, <laughs> you see those fucking seventy year old guys in the morning, just like trotting. Yeah, their fucking shin splints every step. They're yeah. like, now nah, I'm gonna get through this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Uh, so the party. First of all, Gideon at some point ran away to the beach. Okay, and he came back, and he's wet. Gideon looks insanely Greek. <laughs> when his hair is wet. Okay. Like with just his man bun or like his regular hair, he's just good. Yeah. He came out of the water, it's fucking Mykononos. That was his name. <laughs> you know? And he, and he was like running a path. Mykonos is the he name Mykonos, of whatever Greek city. It, fuck, island or whatever the fuck. Fucking call him uh, Greek god Zeus. I don't give a shit. Like <laughs> this fool looked like he created Chobani yogurt. <laughs> like, there you go. Yeah. Like he fucking. He just comes out. I was imagining like just a line of middle-aged women yeah. like, from his paddle boarding class. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> what is your name again? Chobani? Fucking, is this your house? This is crazy. Name is Chobani. What is your name? This is amazing. My daughter would love you. Like that's skinny will be the type of dude that that would happen to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did they have a DJ and shit for the party? No, it was okay. just like music playing. It was like a barbecue. Yeah, so. there was a funny part where the music actually just disappeared. So it was just conversation. And okay. I just felt like I was listening to Room Tone yeah. for like 10 hours. <laughs> and me and Marcus and Colby were like, a song needs to play. <laughs> we don't care what it is at this point. Fucking Spotify, Home Depot ad. I don't give a shit. It needs to be something. <laughs> no way. No. Silence is much better. <laughs> SoundCloud ads are the worst thing in the yeah. entire fucking world. SoundCloud ads. They're so invasive. I know. It's like you're in the middle of a fucking workout or yeah. something. You know what I mean? You're like last rep of a of your bench press. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like Squarespace yeah. is the number one lane. And you're like, no. And you drop the bench press on your neck and you fucking Yo. suffocate. Name the ad that fucks you up, like fucking pisses you off. That's the most memorable. I want to see if it's the one I'm thinking of. Not the Home Depot one. Everyone tweets about that one. On SoundCloud? Yeah, SoundCloud. Um, (laughs) Because I think I know what it is. Fuck. It takes exactly five seconds to hack your brain. Do you understand what I'm talking about? No, 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 no. I don't know that one. It's the scariest shit. (laughs) You listen to a song, you're like, yeah, this is dope. And you hear like this. (laughs) You know what's easier to hack than your computer? I'm like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> like, I'm fucking talking to it. And I've heard this ad a million times, but they get they get down to like it's something it's something deeply fucked up. You're like, you're like all of a sudden like on a phone call or <laughs> yeah. something. You're just like, uh, no, what is it, Mr. Hacker Man? <laughs> it's your brain. What? <laughs> it's like a fucking thing for like social engineering for like smoking. Okay. It's like a non-smoking ad. Oh, uh, okay. But it starts out like this deep, like fucking, you know. It, you know, easy to just get your bank account. I'm like, no, tell me more. And then by the end of it, it's like, don't smoke. I'm like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> like, just telling me not to vape or whatever. Jesus. Yeah. And the worst part is SoundCloud. There's a bunch of shit with SoundCloud this week. I know. Remember that? Or like, it's like, it's like they don't have money and they're 50 days, bro. I don't think that's true. It's probably like a, it's like a loose. I mean, SoundCloud tweeted. They were like, so basically SoundCloud said they only have enough. There was an article that came out that said SoundCloud only has enough money for like 50 days of um, yeah. of service left or whatever but I think they tweeted and they were like your music's going nowhere nowhere, and neither are we and it had like a hundred thousand retweets like oh, okay. so many people support that fucking company yeah. it's just unreal because they can't monetize yeah because their whole business is built on on just the, the SoundCloud the, rappers exactly it's like <laughs> this, this concept of like free you know like basically up and coming artists yeah who don't have money uh-uh. and nobody who listens to them has any mm-hmm. money that's, that's the thing that fucking like is fucked up with with ad based platforms like YouTube and, yeah. and everything. Like it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't, because if they don't conform to sup- like enable these ads or whatever, what, like what, who the fuck else is going to do it? Cause hosting is not, yeah. that shit ain't cheap, bro. Yeah. People, are you ever get mad when you see, do you have ad block? Do you use yeah. it? Do you use it? Yeah. I'm a dick. I get so mad at people when they like go on well, YouTube and, they have ad block on. I'm like, dude, you're like literally hurting my fucking <laughs> livelihood. <laughs> well, I only have ad block on certain computers. Okay. So I like, I let it so run. Care. We get it. You have multiple computers. <laughs> wow. We get it, dude. Wow. Cool. <laughs> yeah, just a lightweight flex. Exactly. Well, it, it depends what computer I'm on. You know? <laughs> depends what room of the house I'm in. You know, depends what experience I'm going for. <laughs> if I feel like feeling a little more normal, well, I go down to the basement. It's got a lot of more normal things in there. Yeah, if I'm feeling good. If I feel a little more feisty, I'll go to the uh, the movie theater. 
dude, we want to, uh, when, when we finish this film, we want to do like a private screening. Oh yeah. But because it's like a dark comedy, I was thinking like, you know, there's one way you can spin it like all industry and like, Ooh, like scary. The, the other thing I thought about doing was just booking like five like comedians or like you, me, and then like a couple other like really strong, like dark ass comics to do sets. And, and yeah, but like they're only like five, seven okay. minutes. Yeah. But like the goal is like each one of them rides like a just grimly like fucked up premise. It doesn't yeah. have to be like violent or yeah. grotesque, but it's just kind of like <clears throat> basically a fucking room where all the jokes that like you don't want recorded. You know, like that's the, cool. Yeah. That's a cool idea. The things you don't it's want. It's actually a really cool idea just for a show. Yeah. I, th- I was thinking like that. Like could, just dark. Yeah. Like just the whole thing is just it makes you feel like every joke is like you don't want to laugh yeah. at it. Yeah. You know? Yes. But it's like. People who could do that well are just are great. Yeah. Jesselnick. Yeah, all those guys. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And the people who try to do it and fail. Like we've seen so many people at mm-hmm. open mics try to do that style of comedy. Yep. And they're just like, they just, it's just fucked up. It's yep. like not funny and yep. it's too fucked up. <laughs> you got to ride that line, you know, <laughs> you got to make people like squirm, but they still laugh at it. <laughs> if they're like, yo, like this one time this dude gets up, we saw him do a set at an open mic and he gets up and he tries to do the whole Jesselnik thing. There's this really old dude oh, in the front row. God. Remember that? Yeah. So this 80 year old guy that had just like wandered in was just watching a comedy show. Yeah. And uh, like totally innocent dude just yeah. watching. And the guy just like, Starts ripping on this dude, telling him what he's about to die soon and all this stuff. And everyone in the audience is just cringing. Yeah. They're like, dude, what did this guy do to you? What yeah. are you, you can't just it, do that shit. And it's, it's gotta be funny. Yeah. And and like I think a lot of the, that's the problem, dude. And I was actually thinking about that yesterday. That the brutal part with stand-up is how hard you fail for so long. Yeah. Like to figure out either what you're doing is not funny. Yeah. Or for someone to tell you your fucking act sucks. Yeah. And all and all this and that. And like it's like a double-edged sword because like you got to get up and do what you want to do. But then yeah. you, you, it's like humor is always at the expense of others. But people like, it's so clear when they see their idol and they're yeah. like, I want to do that. Yeah. And like they either get yeah. up and they try to do Louis shit or yeah. they try to do that shit. Yeah. And you're just like, that's when I get frustrated. I'm like, your influence is so clear. You didn't even bother to try to change it. Yeah. You're just like, ah, well, you know, you know, this is something Louis would say. Nah, I'm gonna. It's say actually, it. it's funny that you bring this up Uh-oh. because I just read a comment. Oh, oh. Someone accused you of stealing oh, a Louis oh, joke. Yes, I saw that in I, the past podcast. I don't know what they were talking about. Oh, weird. Yeah, huh? It's funny. You must be. You must just be just as funny as Louis. <laughs> you must think of the same premises. You must think of the same premises. <laughs> No, I was actually, I actually wanted to respond to that and be like, what are you talking about? But not in like a- I'm curious to what he- I, to Yeah, what I, he I really want to know what yeah. he's referring to. So if you're watching this- Yeah, tell me- uh, Accuser. Yeah, accuser. Whatever the fuck you think I stole. Yeah. Please, please tell me. Yeah. Because uh, um, if there's anything I hate, I hate crossing streams like that. Fucking pissing in the same premise. I hate that. Oh, really? I try so hard to get away from that. Yeah. That's why I hate most of my stand-up, because I'm like, I know someone has said this. Yeah, but it's like, that's what it's about. It's just about your perspective. Yeah, And like true. whatever angle you can find on it. Yep. But premises are all the same. I mean, that's, mm. that's what makes it relatable. That's yep. what makes it funny. Did I, t- did I tell you the fucking crazy bit? I was like, I don't even, whatever, that I'm trying to work on? Like no. side chick in my head? Okay. Like basically, uh, I'm trying to like talk about like auditory hallucination. Um, because I, like, I'll have it before I fall asleep. Okay. And um, so one night... I had one where it was like a pissed off like white girl okay. from like the OC, These and auditory hallucinations. Yeah, so it's okay. like like I get in this weird state where it's like as I'm falling asleep, I can I just hear people talking. Okay, so some sometimes they're talking to me, sometimes it's just two people talking, whatever. I just hear a conversation. Weird, so creepy. Yeah, so one time it's this girl and she's just she's uh, venting to me. Okay, like endlessly. Okay, and she's just like, I, and this fucking uh, these people I don't know, and. So I'm thinking like, oh my God, am I, how long am I going to be awake listening to this girl tell me these bad stories? Like I don't, and that was my fear was just having to hear her stories. Okay. Nothing about the voice yeah. and none of that. So the bit I'm trying to work out is like having a side chick in my head <laughs> where it's like, she's like permanently there, okay. like competing for my attention when I'm talking okay. to my real life girlfriend. And then like, it just becomes like this fucking weird thing. It's like very like abstract, <laughs> dude. You're talking about Jake Paul having mental problems? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's the most fucked up shit I've ever heard. I know. That you have a personality disorder. Hey, 
<laughs> but if it Hello. works, it works. If it works, it works. <laughs> what if I just like ticked over and <laughs> yeah, became yeah, that girl? Became another person. <laughs> what are you saying, Cody? I'm like, uh, what? what? Dude, is, this, <laughs> is this your weird angle on the joke or whatever? <laughs> I got one funny story, then I'm going to wrap it up. Because sure. while we're on the subject of stand up, I was walking on the streets in Croatia, met this dude that was like on Yacht Week or whatever. He's a dude from Jersey. And we're just like, I'm kind of drunk and we're just like, whatever. And you know, like you test stand up on people of in course. real life. Yeah. So I, I, I wanted to test this joke. We're talking about. Um, we're talking about rap concerts. Mm -hmm. And so I have this bit about how I hate rap concerts because the rapper makes you do all the work. They yeah. sing to the things and they put the mic to the thing and then you got to do, and you're like, oh no, I came here to see you do the words. What yep. are you talking about? Right? And so my punch is, it's rap concerts are the Korean barbecue of, or rap shows are the Korean barbecue of concerts. And right. I said that and he fucking cracked up. Wow. And he goes, he goes, oh, that's great, man. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. And he walks away. And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't use oh, that. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? Oh. Don't use that. Oh, that's my fucking joke. That's my shit. <laughs> He's like, man, I hate Korean barbecue restaurants, man. I go there. You got to cook the food. They make you cook the food, man. That's a great joke. I'm going to use that. I'm like, no, 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 no. Dog, don't. <laughs> oh my God. No, there's just a guy from Jersey a dude with from your Jersey. material. Yeah. And that's it. Yep. And, you know and now I know he's out there in Yacht Week, he's gonna be, getting girls with that fucking He's doing it better than you. <laughs> yes. He's doing the bit and better I mean, than I, you. I'm not even sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's not even a great joke, but I know he's delivering it in a fucking yeah. Jersey accent. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? It's the Korean barbecue of, 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 sh of concerts, isn't it? <laughs> All the girls are, oh my God. Oh you're my so God, funny. Jimmy. <laughs> Oh you're my so, god! You're so right. That is <laughs> absolutely this is not even <laughs> not even the right accent. Let me know if you think that's a good joke. Let me know if you, if you think I should use that on stage. Yeah. And if you ever hear someone else do that fucking joke, know that it came from me, <laughs> and know that some Jersey dude stole it from me on Yacht Week. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you for joining us for the today's uh, weekend edition. Yeah. Uh, make sure to uh, keep uh, keep your eyes open for Noel's trailer for his short film coming out. Donate yes. to it. If Thank you support you. the cause, it's going to be really funny. Yes. You've seen the shit that he makes. It's great. He's a great director, producer, and it'll be good. I promise you, just final comment on it. This is the hardest I will work, and I'm fucking, this is for the people, man. This is not for me. There so, you go. Yeah. There you go. So uh, so contribute. <laughs> what day? Thursday, what, Thursday or Friday? Uh, Tuesday or Thursday. Okay. Tuesday or Thursday. Yes. Okay. So be on the lookout. He'll tweet it. I'll tweet it. Yep. Thank you, bro. Um, Donate to, if you like the podcast, yes. contribute on, or pledge on Patreon, please. Patreon.com slash Cody Support your favorites, Co. bro. Yep. They're out here hustling, man. Yep. Yep. And uh, follow us on Instagram. Yes. At yeah. the Noel Miller on YouTube and everything. And everything. at the Cody Co. And also, fucking rate the shit on iTunes. Yep. I think we're almost at 900 now, and yeah. I keep saying get that. It, get it up there, I bro. think for this Wednesday, I'm going to like go through and read some of the reviews, because they're actually really funny. Yeah, that'd be good. Get um, it up to 1,000, people. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, 1K oh. reviews. Also, <laughs> put, put cast your vote for the... Um, what the TMG podcast should actually be about. Yeah. Should we should we discuss exclusively Logan Paul or should we discuss Love Island? I'm I'm kind of feeling Love Island. I'm feeling it, dude. Yeah. I mean I think like giving an American's perspective. It's clear. Oh hey. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta bounce. All right. Bye guys. Thanks for listening.